Hello there, and welcome back to another video, and today I will be speed building and reviewing the first model of LEGO set number 42088, Cherry Picker from LEGO Technic. Now, one year ago today, I uploaded my very first video onto YouTube, and it was of me reviewing this very set. Um, so, I thought it would be quite fun to re review this set and um, to see how far I've come because way back then and um, it was basically just me lying on my bedroom floor with my phone and um, so so in the past year I've had over 1040 views and I've gained 26 subscribers so thank you for all of that but anyway this set has 155 pieces, but zero minifigures because it's a Technic set. Um, and of course, it is right here. So today I'm going to build this and wrap it up into a very quick speed build. Here is the completed build, build time today was just under 25 minutes and let's just jump straight into it. So you can see from here that the overall shaping of it is very good and there is also uh, this white bar which you can't really see very well. Uh, but it, yeah, it does look quite a lot like a cherry picker, well not a British cherry picker because we have one of these cherry pickers that don't look like a truck um, but I think this is what the American cherry pickers look like and it does look very good uh, you can also see there's the wheels on the bottom so of course it can roll along um, and you can see there's quite a lot of light coming through the Technic holes but that's uh, they didn't have things to fill every one of them uh, you can see some blue in there for the seats, I'll show you them a bit more in a minute. Uh, but yeah, the side looks very good. The front here is mostly taken up by this basket, which I'll come back to in a minute. Uh, but if I just flip that up, and I'll just turn this away, you can see um, that the front does look very good. Uh, I really like the building technique of this because you build it all f like flat and I was a bit confused the first time I was building it as to what that was and then you fold it up and it all just comes into place and I think that's great. Uh, there's these two clear system pieces for headlights and these two translucent orange pieces for some more. Uh, there's these Hit up here, I'm not really sure what they're called, these translucent orange pieces. Uh, I think they might be for sirens, but I'm not sure. These seats are a simple construction, they're mostly system pieces. Uh, you can see they're just one wide, so you can't fit um, a minifigure onto these, because of course a minifigure is two studs wide. And it's quite a lot smaller than a minifigure, so uh, it's definitely not minifigure scale. Uh, but yeah, there's not really much going on with the seats, there's a nice angle. Uh, but yeah, quite simple. This side is pretty much identical to the other side, but of course it's reversed, so I'm not going to say anything more about it. The back isn't the best looking area, but you can see this gear. So, um, as you could probably guess, this activates a function. Uh, and you can also see these translucent red studs for brake lights. Uh, but anyway, if you turn this, it, it turns this worm gear in here, which turns this gear, which raises and lowers the arm. And of course, it can actually spin. Um, because it is actually only attached by a single 
Technic Axle which can spin. Uh, so yeah, that's a nice simple mechanism. Now the actual arm is, is mainly for functionality. Um, so it doesn't look very cool but I think again that's accurate to what real cherry pickers look like. Um, but the basket, I like the basket. Um, it's just a few pieces, it can actually spin. Yeah, but it's just a few pieces. Um, and there's a nice gap in here where the person would stand. And I mean you can actually get a minifigure in there. Um, to try and show what it would look like. But of course um, in the scale it's in there would be more room in the basket. All in all, I think this is a great set. Now there's not much going on down here to look at and the bottom, well, you don't need to look at that anyway. Uh, the back doesn't look too great, but the rest of it I think looks really good, especially for the size that it is, how small it is. It's a nice solid build, although that's what you'd expect from any Technic set. Uh, it's got a nice function, uh, which is nice and fun to play around with. You can imagine it driving along and then picking cherries out of trees. Or helping put up ladders or something. Um, but yeah, I think this is a really cool, solid little thing. Um, thank you again for... Um, helping me through my first year of YouTube um, and thanks for watching and I'll see you next time mm -hmm.